Well, welcome back to Sports Live. Now, Moruti Mtalane has been hailed as the best flyweight that Africa has ever produced. And with a record of 40 wins and just three losses over the course of 22 years, you can see how that would not be an overstatement. Far from it. Recently retired, the man nicknamed Babyface is a two-time IBF flyweight champion. He also held the IBO title. He joins me in studio now with boxing promoter Nomvelo Shezi joining us live via Zoom. But I'm going to start with Muruti. Muruti, welcome to Sports Live. So you got to tell us, you're, you're retired now, yeah. but you had a distinguished career. And the one thing that stands out over such a long period of time, what was the secret to staying at the top? <laughs> yeah, it's been a long journey, tough. Yeah, it wasn't easy at all, but thanks God I've managed to where I am now today as I'm officially retired now. Yeah, no, I think I did very well in my boxing career. I mean, we look at the stats. You started back in 2000, mm. fighting in the concourse of the Grand of the Park Station. Mm. These are tough places to get a win, and you got many, many wins, 40 wins. Um, you were a fighting champion as well. You took on all challenges. Mm. Was that your motto? You don't, you don't hide from anyone. No, I didn't hide from anyone. When you're holding a well tightly, you don't, have, you can't hide from anyone because they are other boxers who wants to win that world title. So I've shown that I'm the best by able to defend my world title. Yes. And, and you defended your titles. Uh, mm. The one key that I saw was you, the periods of your reigns were over a course of years. Mm. How difficult was that to, to stay right at the top of your game for sustained periods of time? Not, by no means a flash in the pan. Mm, no, I think uh, my secret was the discipline and uh, to train hard. That's what helped me in my whole career. Because, uh, yeah, no, I think by my discipline have helped me a lot by not include myself to some certain things that will destroy me. But no, I thanks where I am today. I mean, th this is a sport that requires a lot of discipline. Mm -hmm. And over the course of your career, unflinching, trained by the best, Nick Durant, the late great Nick Durant, Ooh, yeah. Colin Nathan. Colin, yeah. Colin Nathan, the one who actually said, you are the best flyweight that ever came out of Africa. Huge props. Um, so that wealth of knowledge that you got, you, you're, you're boxing through and through, aren't you? Mm, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, my trainers, like first you mentioned the name of Nick Durant, the late Nick Durant, because he passed in 2017, if I'm not mistaken. And the Colin Nathan, um, when I joined Colin Nathan in 2016, met so many people in boxing, they said, no, Colin is just wasting his time by accepting me to train his gym. Moruti is done, he's finished. But guess what? Colin Nathan in 2018, he made me a world champion, a IPF world champion, and that it didn't end there because I've defended my title three times. Unlucky in last year, fourth time, then I lost my title in 2022, uh, Sunny Edwards in London. Yeah, no, I really want to thank Colin Nathan for yeah. what he did for me for this, yes. And that's intrinsic, the relationship mm. between boxer and trainer, mm. that's the winning combination. A mm. boxer might have all the skills, but tell us, what does the trainer bring? Yeah, of course, uh, it's very important, uh, the relation between the coach and the, and the uh, boxer, because we understand each other. Me and Colin Nathan know we work um, together so nicely because we understand each other. We sit down, talk about the things. No, it's friendship helps a lot in boxing. When you understand your trainer and your trainer understand you, it makes a good combination together. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was a winning combination. I don't know yeah. who the naysayers are because we've got a clip for you now oh, of yeah. tributes. I mean, the only Ooh. one we speak to has only got glowing words to say about you, Moruti. Yeah. So um, let's play that now. Let's have a look at what some of the distinguished people in South African boxing mm. have to say about you and your career. Okay. Play it now. Let's yes, see. Sir. And now, fighting out of the red corner, he wears white and blue trunks. Here is a legend, a superstar, Muruti Babyface Mtalani. Babo Mtalani, Sibongenga Kulu, 
as the boxing fraternity, you know, on behalf of everybody that follows you, uh, the youth that aspire to be somebody like you, you are a true role model. And we are so thankful for all that you've done for the boxing community, Siapong Agakulu, and we would like to wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Uh, God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. I'm Roti, Tinan Tobela here, three times world champion. Welcome to the Legends Corner. We are really proud that uh, you have made South Africa proud you know, by becoming a two times IBF world champion. You know, that's a great achievement. So, but I think now that you're in the Legends Corner, uh, you'll be able to help us to help some of the youngsters to take over from where we left. Keep punching. Maruti, when you joined me in 2016, uh, most people said your career was finished. But you and I agreed that you were still world class and still capable of winning another legitimate world championship. I want to say that the journey was just nothing short of incredible being by your side. You're an absolute credit, not only as a sportsman, but as a human being, not only for South African boxing, but for global boxing. Your record is impeccable. You are a legend of African boxing and arguably, probably in my opinion, which is biased, the greatest flyweights in African boxing history. Enjoy your retirement. You've been a credit to the sport and I love you lots. Right, so there you go. Those are some poignant, heartfelt words. Maruti, mm. your initial reaction when you hear that. Those are some of the finest mm. in the boxing fraternity that South Africa has ever produced. Speaking about you, what do you feel? Yeah, I'm so emotional right now. I accept the messages I've got from Sipo and uh, Colin, my drain I saw. It means a lot to me, which means what I've been doing, many people have... Uh, have liked what I've been doing. Mm. No, I'm so happy. Respected, Respected admired, yeah. looked up to. Mm. And a journey not far from over by any means. Tell us what you want to do now in the sport of boxing mm. because it's very exciting. And I think there's got to be so many thousands of children out there, kids, mm. young boxers yeah. who can benefit. Yeah, of course, uh, it's a lot like, like I'm retired to fighting boxing, but I'm still going to be involved in boxing. I would like to help another. I, I, I would like to help the kids who wants to be like Morutim Talane. Yeah, no, I'm very happy that I'm a good example to the up and coming uh, boxers. Yeah, no, I'll help them to reach where I've been. Yeah. So you would advocate for the path you took um, th everything that happened to you, it, it's not an easy life, but it instills, I think, again, that word discipline. Um, where would your focus be? Y you want to impart the knowledge of, and train young kids, mm -hmm. primarily from where? Yeah, because now I'm based in Johannesburg and in case at end also, they want me to help them there. So at the moment, I'm still sitting down and think, how will I do it? Yeah, but mm. for sure. Maybe in beginning of next year, I know exactly how will I do it. Yeah, but for sure, I'm still being involved in boxing, 100% about that. Yeah. I mean, when we when we walk into boxing gyms, and I, I haven't walked into, I'm not. Gonna <laughs> take the, but when yeah. I have, you, yeah. the, the the sense that you feel there is hard work. Mm -hmm. you, you you know you're not going to get an easy ride here. And you're going to be, it's going to be structured workouts um, and a lot of life lessons that you're going to learn. Mm. No bad elements in boxing gyms, really. There, there, there's no time for bad elements. It's, it's mm. all about hard work and how much your bucket of sweat is at the end. Mm. Um, that's an environment that you believe uh, children can thrive in in South Africa. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'll, if the kids can be involved in sports, not like boxing, like all other sports, because we've got different talents, you know, yeah. Mm. It helps the kids when they come back from school, they go to the gym, then they come back to their schoolwork and sleep. Like it's a daily routine that yes. they are involved in. So there's no chance that they're going to walk on the street and do some wrong things. You know, mm. I think sports plays a very important to the kids' life, yeah. 
So, yeah. And it's that routine that, mm-hmm. that instills in, in, um, in the children that kind of discipline. Yeah. But I want to bring in your boxing promoter now, the, the, the woman who worked with you on your final mm-hmm. match, uh, bout, and that's Novello Shezi. She yes. joins us via Zoom. Um, Novello, uh, Moruti's talking an interesting um, development after his uh, retirement, and you are the lady who says you want to help him. Please elaborate more um, about working with such a fine champion and how you guys are going to bring his wealth of knowledge forward so that generations of, of the youth of South Africa can benefit. A quick Tuesday. Hope you all good. Hi, Mruti. Hi, Mruti. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you doing, my sister? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. Yes, first of all, um, uh, I would like to say thanks to Mruti for giving me such a, a good opportunity to host his last fight. Uh, I thought he, he would refuse when we talk about uh, the fight at the first because uh, I was saying, Mruti, can you please come home and fight so that your, your supporters can be happy to see you fight live in front of them? And he said, no, it's fine. I, I thought he was refused because Mruti <laughs> is fighting a uh, big fight and he, he used to fight for big money, but the, the budget I was have was too low. But I was grateful that he gave me that chance to say, okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's not about money. It's about my supporters. I need to have, I, I wish to make them happy too. So I was so grateful. Now, Novello, the, the sport of boxing in South Africa, for many years now, people have been saying it, it needs to be revitalized. Uh, we've got four uh, world champions in our midst, and they are... They're, they're willing to help. They need the boxing promoters. We need the, the synergy between all the camps in the sport. Do you feel like it, it, it's going to be a struggle, I take it, but you feel like you're up for the task? Actually, what I can say is that uh, Velo Promotion opened the team in Petamarutsbeck. And uh, since Mruti is paid in Petamarutsbeck, we are willing uh, to, to ask him to come and help us because there is a lot of uh, youth there who want to start boxing. Others are already boxers, but they need to get policed. So we believe that Mruti's skills will help them to get where they wish to be and become a champion, a champion like Mruti. So uh, as in the promotion, we have big plans for next year, and we will involve Rudy as a part of that plan. And we, we wish that uh, God can help us and keep us safe until that goal or, or plan that we have uh, been implemented. Well, no, Novella, uh, I've been speaking to Maruti. He's so humble. He won't... Um... He, he won't big up himself too much. He, he wants to stay grounded. That's the kind of attitude, that's the kind of professional we want uh, talking to our children. Uh, what do you see as, as his strengths um, being that he can impart on, on the youth? Actually, what I can say is that uh, I believe that sports has a power to change the world. As Mr. Nelson Mandela, the late former president, said, I really believe in his words. And as a social worker by profession, I believe that uh, if we can involve sports in people's lives, there are a lot of things that can change. So uh, as a very promotion, we are willing uh, and we, we, we wish to, to, to work very hard to help the youth to get uh, into sports so that they can stay active and healthy all the time. And then I, I believe that uh, sports can help youth to stay out and children to stay away from drugs, teenagers, pregnancy, all those social issues that are, are usually a, a hinder in, in the place of uh, children. So uh, I think when you're working together with him, Ruti, many things will change because uh, people want, want people want to work with people they know exactly that this is a world champion. As Mruti is, was a former three times world champion, and many people knew that, and they would like to be involved where he is. So I believe that once we work with Mruti, uh, law will be changing. Novella Shezi, a boxing promoter, is going to be working with Maruti. Thank you very much for being with us, um, letting us in on this um, 
this exciting development for a boxer in his retirement. I'm going to leave the final word. Thank you for being with us here on Sports Life. I'm going to leave the final word with Moruti. Moruti, so there we have it. This is what you're going to dedicate yourself to. Um, you fought in a lot of uh, different countries around the world. Yeah, yeah. You were an outsider fighting in other people's backyards, but winning the gold. Now you're going to bring it back and you're going to bring back your knowledge. Mm. That's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. That's what I've been wanting to do after retirement, to share my knowledge with the up and coming ones. You know? mm. Yeah. So that we'll see the next Moruti. But as Nomvelo was talking, we still have to sit down and discuss about everything how it's going to be like. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. Yeah, the yeah. practicalities mm -hmm. need to be ironed out. About, Muruti yes. Mtalane, the best flyweight that Africa has ever produced. I'm not saying it. It's been said by recognized boxing authorities. Thank you very much for joining us on Sports Live. It's been an absolute treat, and we're going to follow developments with what you do in your retirement closely. But thanks for being with us. Okay, no, thank you so much.